Ever wondered why we can't fly a plane into space? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? When we look up at the vast expanse of the sky, it's easy to imagine a plane soaring higher and higher, breaking free from the Earth's pull. But alas, reality is a bit more complex than that. You see, space isn't just up there. It's a hostile environment, drastically different from our familiar earthly conditions. The forces that keep us grounded, like gravity and atmospheric pressure, also limit our aircraft. Then there's the matter of survival in the harsh void of space. Regular planes simply aren't equipped for that. Then, there's the question of fuel. The energy needed to escape Earth's gravitational pull is immense. It's not something your average jet engine can muster. But don't be disheartened, the sky is not the limit. It's just the beginning. Stick around and we'll unravel the mysteries of aviation and space travel together. To understand why planes can't fly into space, we first need to comprehend the forces that restrict them. Let's start with gravity, the invisible force that keeps us grounded. It's like an unseen hand, constantly pulling everything towards the center of the Earth. This force is what planes have to work against to get off the ground and stay in the air. The higher they fly, the harder they have to work. Now imagine a tug of war between the plane and gravity. The plane's engines push it upward, while gravity pulls it down. To reach space, a plane would need to overcome this pull. But there's a catch. The power needed to do this is far beyond what commercial plane engines can provide. This is where the term escape velocity comes into play. It's the speed needed to break free from the Earth's gravitational pull. For context, it's about 25 times the speed of sound. That's faster than any commercial plane can fly. But gravity is not the only challenge. There's also atmospheric pressure to consider. As a plane ascends, the air becomes thinner. This decrease in air density affects the performance of the plane. Here's why. A plane's wings create lift by pushing air downward. This action results in an opposing upward force that helps the plane rise. But as the air thins out, there's less of it to push against. This means less lift. So, the higher the plane goes, the harder it becomes to climb further. In the vast emptiness of space, there's no air for the wings to push against. No air means no lift, and no lift means no flight. That's why a plane can't simply fly into space. It would need to become a rocket, using thrust instead of lift to move forward. So, in simple terms, our commercial planes are not built to overcome these forces. They are designed to fly within the atmosphere, not beyond it. To reach space, we need something more. We need a space plane. But that's a story for the next scene. But wait, what about those vehicles that do make it to space? Yes, we're talking about space planes. Imagine a vehicle that can both fly in the atmosphere like a plane and in outer space like a spacecraft. That's a space plane for you, an impressive fusion of both worlds. A stellar example of this is the iconic Space Shuttle, an orbiter that was part of NASA's Space Shuttle program from 1981 to 2011. The Space Shuttle, unlike commercial aircraft, was designed to endure the harsh environment of outer space. It had to withstand the tremendous heat of re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere and the cold void of space. This was made possible by its unique design and the use of advanced heat-resistant materials. Now let's draw a contrast here. Regular planes and space planes may share a resemblance in their aerodynamic shapes, but there is a stark difference in what powers them. Commercial planes use jet engines, which require oxygen from the atmosphere to burn fuel. On the other hand, space planes use rocket engines that carry their own supply of oxygen, enabling them to operate in the oxygen-devoid environment of space. This brings us to the purpose of these two different types of planes, Commercial planes are designed to transport people and goods across the globe, flying within the Earth's atmosphere. Space planes, however, have a loftier goal. They are designed to transport astronauts and cargo to and from space, making them essential vehicles for space exploration and potentially interplanetary travel. However, it's important to note that space planes are not just limited to government agencies. With the advent of private space companies, we're seeing the development of commercial space planes like Sierra Space's Dream Chaser and Virgin Galactic's Unity. These vehicles aim to make space travel accessible to more people, opening the doors to exciting possibilities like space tourism. Space planes are indeed remarkable, aren't they? But they are not without their own set of challenges. While space planes can reach space, it's not an easy journey. Let's discuss why. The trip to the cosmos is fraught with challenges, both known and unknown. First off, there's the intense heat. As a space plane re-enters Earth's atmosphere, it must withstand temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun. That's why space planes are designed with heat shields that can handle this fiery descent. 
Then there's the cosmic radiation. Space is filled with high-energy particles that can wreak havoc on both spacecraft and astronauts. Designing a spacecraft that can protect its occupants from this radiation is a constant engineering challenge. And let's not forget about the need for life support systems. Space is a vacuum, devoid of air, and temperatures can swing wildly. Therefore, maintaining a stable, breathable atmosphere inside the spacecraft is crucial. These challenges significantly impact the design and operation of space planes, making every trip an incredible feat of human ingenuity. So, as you can see, space travel is an entirely different ballgame. So, where does this leave us? Will commercial space travel ever become a reality for everyone? Inquiries such as these have captured the attention and stirred the imagination of many. As we delve into the future of space tourism, the possibilities appear as boundless and enigmatic as the universe itself. Picture yourself not just observing, but actually partaking in the journey aboard spacecrafts like Virgin Galactic's Unity or Sierra Space's Dream Chaser. Visualize being securely fastened, adrenaline rushing through your veins as you're catapulted into the limitless cosmos. This no longer a scene exclusively reserved for science fiction narratives, it's gradually solidifying into an attainable reality. Moreover, envision the construction of space stations such as the Orbital Reef. They aren't mere fueling stations or research facilities, but are envisaged as bustling human activity centers where individuals can live, work, and potentially even holiday. Such advancements could metamorphose our perception of space from an unknown frontier to a familiar, friendly neighborhood. As we speak, the future of space exploration is gradually unfurling right before our eyes, and it's spectacularly thrilling. The possibility that we might all get to experience the exhilaration of space travel someday isn't far-fetched. Until then, let's continue to marvel at the wonders of our universe from down here. And now our journey through the cosmos draws to a close, but the excitement and curiosity that space travel kindles within us remains alive and burning. As we have seen, the future of space exploration is an exhilarating mystery, one that we all get to witness and potentially be a part of. But our journey doesn't end here. It's just the beginning. We invite you to join us as we continue to explore the vast universe, its many mysteries, and the ever-evolving domain of space travel. As we embark on this thrilling voyage, we urge you to share in our enthusiasm and curiosity. Together we can venture into the unknown, fueled by our collective passion and thirst for knowledge. So if you've enjoyed this journey and are as excited about the future of space travel as we are, why not share this video with others? Help us spread the word and ignite the spark of curiosity in more minds. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our future voyages into the cosmos. Thanks for watching, and remember, the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning.